breaking news. When the University of Wisconsin football team scores, the team and all its fans are very happy. The mascot for the team, Bucky the Badger, I'm sure is also happy. But that happiness is tempered because every time new points go up on the Wisconsin scoreboard, Bucky Badger, the mascot, has to do push-ups for every point that Wisconsin has put on the board. So Wisconsin scores a touchdown and an extra point, Bucky does seven push-ups. Then they score a field goal. The Wisconsin score goes from 7 to 10, and Bucky does 10 push-ups. 10 more push-ups, I should say. If Wisconsin then scores another touchdown, an extra point, and their score goes to 17, Bucky then does 17 more push-ups, putting his total push-up tally by that point of the game up to 34. Here's the problem, which has given rise to the mystery. On Saturday, the Wisconsin football team scored 83 points. Wisconsin 83, Indiana 20. Wisconsin scored 83 points. How many push-ups did Bucky the Badger have to do if this was the score at the end of the game, okay? Now, uh, you might have heard Rachel Maddow kind of explain how the scoring works, but I want to make sure that we're all on the same page before we start investigating. Okay? So let's do one example together. I'm looking at question number one here on your worksheet. Let's imagine Wisconsin scored a field goal. Could someone tell me how many points is a field goal worth? Three. So I'll put that in here. Okay, now Wisconsin has a touchdown and a field goal, so what would it look like on their scoreboard? That's a good question to ask ourselves. Ten. Ten. So how many push-ups would Bucky have to do that round? Ten. Ten. So let's go ahead and put a ten in for the number of push-ups Bucky had to do. And now if Bucky has done seven push-ups before and ten push-ups now, how many push-ups will he have done total? Seventeen. Seventeen. Any questions? <laughs> And now I want you to fill out this third row. Imagine if Wisconsin scored another touchdown. What would that look like? Yes? Okay, uh, they score seven points. Mm -hmm. So they do 17 more push-ups. Mm -hmm. And the total push-ups he's done is 34. All right, great job. Does anyone have any questions about how this works? Okay, so we know Wisconsin ended the game with 83 points. Right? So we're going to make a guess right here. How many push-ups did Bucky the Badger have to do? But well, what does it have to be bigger than? 83. Okay, so I want everyone to write their best guess for question number three right there. Just make sure it's bigger than 83. Uh, and my question is, do we have all the information that we need? No. no. What information do we need? The types of yeah, like how many uh, touchdowns, how many field goals, how many or touchdowns, point conversions, and how many field goals. Excellent. Yeah. But what I want to know is, does it even matter? So, what is a score in, t uh, in football that we could make from entirely touchdowns or entirely field goals? It's the same number. Yeah, the right. same number. That could be in twenty-one. Twenty-one. 21. What would that twenty-one look like as just touchdowns? Seven. 14, 21. Okay, I'm going to write 7, 7, 7, touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. And what would that look like as just field goals? 3, 3, how many times? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's see if it makes a difference. Someone from that side of the classroom, tell me if, Bucky, if Wisconsin scores 21 points by just touchdowns, how many push-ups did Bucky have to do? 42. 42. Give me a thumbs up if you agree. Awesome. Okay, if Wisconsin scores 21 points by just field goals, how many push-ups does Bucky have to do? 84. 84. Give me a thumbs up if you got 84. Yes. So let's go ahead and find out the answer to the question that you want to know. 11 touchdowns, 2 field goals. Is that enough information or do we still need to know something else? The order. That's interesting. Does the order of those 11 touchdowns and 2 field goals matter? What if Wisconsin scored a touchdown and then a field goal? Or a field goal and a touchdown, okay? In your group, I want half of you to do touchdown field goal, seven and three, and the other half to do field goal and touchdown, three and seven, and see if you get the same answer, see if you get a different answer. Touchdown and then field goal. Someone raise your hand and tell me how many push-ups would Bucky have to do after the touchdown and the field goal? Benita? 17. Thumbs up if you got that. Great. What about field goal and then a touchdown? How many push-ups would Bucky have to do? 13. Thumbs up if you got that. Awesome. So it matters. All right. So what they have for us here is the summary 
score report for the Wisconsin-Indiana game. It tells you who scored, it tells you Indiana scores. Do we need all that information? No. no. So we just need the important stuff. So if you look on the question number three, it's got all the good stuff for you. It's how many points Wisconsin scored and in what order. I want you to work with your uh, group mates here in figuring out how many push-ups Bucky has done. With Bucky having to do push-ups equal to the number of points on the Wisconsin scoreboard every time there was a new score, that turns out to be a total of 573 push-ups in a big plushy suit with a giant fur head on. Here is some work from the middle table over here, and I'm going to go ahead and put this up. I see 573. 573 is down here, so go ahead and check your work. Uh, maybe if you didn't get that answer, see which row. Maybe there's a calculation you have. I'll leave that up for a minute or two. And does anyone have any questions?